Hello everyone, this is Teacher AJ, and today we're going to be talking about gender identity. Gender identity is a very popular topic. We hear people talking about it all the time, but do we know how to talk about gender identity? So today's class is about this. First of all, what is gender identity after all? I will show you a comic strip to exemplify. Remember kids, this isn't a true or false question. It's multiple choice. Gender is a multiple topic, a multiple subject. There are many definitions for that. And today we're going to talk about this a little bit. Let's take a look at four important definitions when we talk about gender, okay? First, gender identity. Gender identity is a person's perception of having a particular gender, which may or may not correspond with their birth sex. So basically it means how I see myself, how I feel. The exterior is not important, okay? It's about me, myself, and I with myself. Second important definition, cisgender, relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex, which means when I was born, the doctor said I was a boy. I feel like a boy. I'm cisgender. So it means that I feel okay with the sex I was assigned at birth. Third definition, transgender, relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth sex, which means when I was born, the doctor said I was a boy. I don't feel like a boy, so I am transgender. So I was assigned as a boy when I was born, but I don't feel like a boy, so I am transgender. Non-binary a spectrum of identities that are not exclusively masculine or feminine, then can be both or neither of them. I'm not a boy, I'm not a girl. I may be a mix of both or none of them, okay? So I'm not exclusively a boy or exclusively a girl. Maybe I'm not a boy or a girl. Maybe I am a mix, okay? Very good. To talk about gender, I like exemplifying with this image. So we have male and female, which is the binary, right? Male and female that society recognizes. In the middle, we have neutral, which, which can be a mix of male and female. And at the bottom, none of them, a gender, no gender at all. Now let's take a look at some pronunciation of the four words that we learned in the past. Repeat, gender identity. Gender identity. One more time. Well done. Cisgender. Cisgender. One more time. Cisgender. Very good. Transgender. Transgender. One more time. Transgender. Well done. Non-binary, non-binary, one more time, non-binary, well done. Now let's practice a little. So here we have, match the words to the meanings. Letter A, gender identity, letter B, cisgender, letter C, transgender, and letter D, 
non-binary, okay? Then you have numbers one, two, three, and four. Let's match the words to the meanings. Now pause this video and do the exercise. Okay, let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, so what is gender identity? Number two, how you see yourself how you identify yourself and how you express yourself. B, what is cisgender? Number one, a person who identifies with the sex assigned to them at their birth. Letter C, what is transgender? Number four, someone who doesn't identify with the gender they were assigned when they were born. And letter D, non-binary, someone who may identify as neither male or female, both or a blend of them. Well done. So this was our class for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. That's it. Thank you. See you soon.